Okay. My videos are only 10 minutes. Because uh, I do it on 50, 50 frames per second. That way you can see uh, the video quality. But of course sometimes this camera does not want to focus. But I think it's just... I think it's just a brain fart in the mechanism and there may be some update that I need to do on it to, to, to oblaw, but, uh, um, like I say, I know that, uh, where, uh, uh, that there is white. I don't have, well, I do have a brown one. Um, here's the little brown if you can see it right there, there's a little brown fill that would go up there, but when I was trying to grab a hold of them, the little deal broke off on the bottom of it. You know, it's not no really bad deal, but it wouldn't hurt if I could find another one of them. And uh but uh the white one looks pretty good on there and uh another this is another thing that I used with the uh sharpie uh i took and uh, used a red sharpie over here and the color from the red sharpie is almost uh kind of like a tail light red and uh i was able to do this side here and i'll spin the my turntable and you can see that uh this side over here uh, guys, the caboose wants to roll toward me. Um, you can see, come on, camera. Oh, this camera's been a pain. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the light. Yeah, it could be the light, some of it. Uh, that turned out real good. Um, now, like I say, this here is still kind of loose, so... I've still got to do a few things to it to make it, you know, to make it uh, a finished product. I mean, it's pretty well finished, uh, you know, but um, it's uh, it's not doing bad. And uh, uh, when I started this project, uh, I kind of needed uh, <clears throat> uh, needed a definitely a break from something. And, uh, so we, uh, came in here about, uh, let's see, about, uh, 30, 7.30, uh, would be last night. And we started on the, uh, <clears throat> on the tail light fixture, on the little tripod for the tail light. <clears throat> we got that done. We thought, again, scratching my head, I thought, okay. Done that, we can do this other. You know, we can do this. We can do this for the antenna array. So, um, got the holes drilled, and uh, uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I know sometimes when you see micro trains, uh, I mean not micro trains. Uh, Athern, I'm a little tired. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> when you see Athern, uh, even though that stuff looks really cool, and this, I was looking at my caboose, uh, the new one that I got, and I couldn't believe it, I seen, <laughs> I seen seats inside there, and I just wasn't, wasn't paying attention when I first got them, that they were seats in there, and so, uh, the added little things that Atherin does to their cabooses is just uh, something else, and then what they do to their HO cabooses and you can light them up so that when you're going down track, you've got the light on. And then if you're backing up, I don't know if it'll flash or if it just stays on steady. But uh, I think it I think it has a little flash to it. But uh, I think that's really sharp. But uh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, tell me what you think on my work. Um, like I say, uh, I'm dabbling in, in into it a little bit you know uh each time i'd like to uh get some uh oh some tail threads you know when i'm not running my caboose on those uh 
the uh, lighted deals and put on a uh, box car. But I don't want one that's too complicated. I'd like to just get one that, you know, runs by maybe a little battery or runs, you know, I've heard running off truck track power might be, I don't know, better or not, but uh, I'd rather run one off of a battery if it's, if that's possible uh, or feasible. And, uh, but, uh, um, I'm kind of a caboose guy. And like I say, I wanted to spiffy this caboose up and I think I did a pretty good job of doing it. Uh, I don't know if we'll call this an A plus or not. <laughs> I know it was a plus word dead. Oh goodness gracious. I don't know how many times I stuck my fingers and how many times I, you know, didn't holler, but how many times I stuck my fingers and how many times I uh, put that uh, tripod up there on top of that caboose and damn thing fell down on me <laughs> trying to get it lined up. But uh, I'll tell you what, looks pretty sharp. I mean, it's, uh, I need the... Uh, all the little brown thing that goes in the center there. And that's another thing I had to do. I had to actually make that hole a couple times. And it doesn't look, if you look, if you look there, like I say, uh, you can't really tell that I kind of stuck it a couple times. Uh, it just looks like I done it one time. And, uh, that antenna ray, it sits in there. It doesn't wobble around hardly at all. I mean, I do need to probably add some glue to it here. Uh, maybe before I paint it or, at, you know, get some paint and paint it. Um, and uh, I think when it gets done, I think it's going to look really good. I don't have the, ca I don't have the, the capability of, of, uh, oh, uh, air spraying it, you know, or, uh, because I live in an apartment, uh, or, uh, I know a lot of guys, they use their, um, oh, their little, uh, uh, oh, I'm trying to think, uh, little air, air guns, or little, or not air guns, or their little, uh, uh, ah, God, uh, they have, like, a little pump, and they, uh, do it that way, and, um, uh, I think I could do it by just, you know, uh, hand painting it, and I think it'd be just as, I mean, not as it would be as if it was sprayed, but, um, uh, it'd be nice to have one of those little, uh, uh, deals like that, and airbrushing, I think is what they call it, airbrushing, if I had that and could uh, airbrush it, you know, but down the road we might have one of those. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, and I may have repeated this, you know. Uh, tell me what you think. How this looks. Um, it uh, did take a little time. And, you know, I guess these projects are not supposed to go and be done in about 5 or 10, 15 minutes or an hour or two hours. Sometimes they linger on, and I guess this was a marathon here on this, but I'll tell you what. I think this caboose looks a little bit a little bit neater. Probably all someday down the road, weather the caboose. I'd like to, uh, on the ends of the caboose, I know the... Uh, where the bays are, they're painted in orange. I'd like to paint. Uh, I'd like to paint the ends of the cabooses where the doors and stuff like that. I'd like to paint them uh, the orange color, and then uh, do the bays uh, brown. Uh, do the bays brown, and then orange on just the ends of the bays, like just that end part there. You know, mask that off and paint the uh, most of that all brown and then just leave the ends of it kind of like how uh, Atherin does theirs. But uh, tell me what you think of this. Um, let me know in the comments and please uh, uh, subscribe, uh, click the like, and uh, ring the bell.
and we thank